Astronomers just discovered a new dwarf galaxy that they named Pearls DG, which stands for Prime Extragalactic Areas for Rayonization and Lensing Science Dwarf Galaxy. They were using the James Webb Space Telescope to observe a region of the sky where no other galaxies were expected to be found. However, they found that this galaxy is very unusual because it is very old and faint, dating back to about 13 billion years ago when the universe was only 5% of its current age. It is also very isolated, located far away from any other galaxy cluster or group. It is like a lonely island in the cosmic ocean. How did JWST discover this galaxy that shouldn't exist? Why is it so important? And what does it tell us about the early universe and the formation of galaxies? How did it manage to survive for so long in such a harsh environment? These are some of the questions that we will try to answer in this video. So if you are curious about this amazing discovery, then stay tuned and keep watching. Before we dive into the details of Pearl's DG, let's first understand what a dwarf galaxy is and why it is so different from other galaxies. A dwarf galaxy is a small galaxy that contains less than a few billion stars, compared to hundreds of billions or even trillions of stars in larger galaxies like our own Milky Way. It is also less luminous, less massive, and less structured than larger galaxies. They often have irregular shapes and lack a clear spiral or elliptical structure. These type of galaxies are very common in the universe, and they are usually found in groups or clusters, orbiting around larger galaxies as satellites. For example, the Milky Way has about 50 dwarf galaxies as its companions, such as the Large and Small Magellanic Clouds, which are visible in the Southern Hemisphere. Dwarf galaxies are important for several reasons. First, they are the building blocks of larger galaxies, as they can merge or accrete with each other to form bigger and more complex structures. Second, they are the sites of intense star formation, as they can convert their gas into new stars at a high rate, producing bright and massive stars that enrich the galaxy with heavy elements. Third, they are the probes of the dark matter, as they can reveal the distribution and properties of this mysterious substance that dominates the mass of the universe, but is invisible to normal light. By studying the motions and shapes of dwarf galaxies, astronomers can infer how much dark matter they contain and how it affects their evolution. However, not all dwarf galaxies are the same, and some of them are more unusual than others. Pearl's DG, the newly discovered galaxy, is one of these exceptional cases, as it defies the expectations and models of galaxy formation and evolution. Pearl's DG is not just another dwarf galaxy. It is a very rare and peculiar one that has several features that make it stand out from the rest. First of all, it is very old and distant, dating back to about 13 billion years ago, when the universe was only 5% of its current age. This means that it is one of the first galaxies to form in the history of the universe, and it has witnessed some of the most dramatic and crucial events that shape the cosmos, such as the rayonization era, when the first stars and galaxies ionized the neutral hydrogen that filled the space, making it transparent to light. Pearl's DG is also very faint, with a luminosity of only about 0.1% of the Milky Way, making it extremely hard to detect and observe. In fact, it was found by accident while James Webb was observing a galaxy cluster in the NEP as part of the Pearl's project. The astronomers noticed a tiny and dim blob of light in the background, and they realized that it was a new galaxy that had never been seen before. Second, this galaxy is very isolated, located far away from any other galaxy cluster or group. It is like a lonely island in the cosmic ocean, surrounded by a vast and empty space. This is very unusual, because most galaxies are found in dense and crowded environments, where they interact and influence each other through gravity, gas, and radiation. These interactions can trigger or suppress star formation, change the shape and structure of the galaxies, and even destroy or merge them. Pearl's DG, on the other hand, seems to have avoided these interactions and remained intact and isolated for billions of years. How did it manage to do that? How did it form in such a remote and barren region of the sky? These are some of the questions that puzzle the astronomers 
and that require further investigation and analysis. Third, this galaxy is very different from other dwarf galaxies in terms of its color, composition, and morphology. It has a reddish hue, which indicates that it is dominated by old and low-mass stars that have a longer lifespan and a cooler temperature than young and high-mass stars, which are bluer and brighter. It also has a very low metallicity, which means that it contains very few elements heavier than hydrogen and helium, such as carbon, oxygen, iron, and so on. These elements are produced by the nuclear fusion of stars, and they are spread into the galaxy and the intergalactic medium by supernova explosions and stellar winds. A low metallicity implies that Pearl's DG has not experienced much star formation or feedback, and that it has retained its pristine and primordial gas. It also has a very irregular and asymmetric shape, which suggests that it has not been affected by tidal forces or collisions, and that it has not developed a clear spiral or elliptical structure. All these features make this galaxy a very unique and intriguing galaxy that can provide valuable insights into the epoch of galaxy assembly, AGN growth, and the first light in the universe. Now that we have learned more about Pearl's DG and its importance, let's take a look at the image of this galaxy taken by James Webb and see how it was obtained and processed. The image that you see on the screen is a composite of three different filters, corresponding to three different wavelengths of light, near-infrared, mid-infrared, and far-infrared. These filters allow Webb to capture the light emitted by Pearl's DG and the surrounding galaxies, and to reveal their colors and features. The image was also enhanced and corrected by using sophisticated techniques and algorithms, such as background subtraction, point spread function deconvolution, and image registration, to remove the noise and artifacts, and to improve the resolution and contrast. As you can see, Pearl's DG appears as a small and faint red dot in the center of the image, surrounded by a halo of diffuse light. It is barely visible, and it is easily overshadowed by the brighter and larger galaxies around it. These galaxies are part of the galaxy cluster that Webb was originally observing, and they are much closer and younger than Pearl's DG. They have a bluer and more varied color, which reflects their higher luminosity, mass, and metallicity. They also have a more regular and symmetric shape, which indicates their more evolved and stable structure. The contrast between Pearl's DG and the other galaxies is striking, and it shows how different and diverse the galaxies in the universe are. Observing such a faint and distant object like this galaxy is not an easy task, and it requires a lot of time, patience, and precision. JWST is the only telescope that can do it, thanks to its advanced instruments and techniques. We have reached the end of this video. We hope that you have enjoyed it and that you have learned something new and interesting about Pearl's DG and James Webb. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to share them in the section below, and we will try to answer them as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you next time.